our top story tonight, a 13-year-old Riley County boy is accused of sending nude or partially nude pictures of himself to a 10-year-old girl. And it's an incident that raises questions for parents when it comes to phones. How young is too young? KSNT News reporter James Ryan sat down with a child advocate who has advice on how to keep kids safe on their smartphones. It may look like this brother and sister have the same cell phone, but 11-year-old Austin Bramlett will tell you there's a major difference. I don't have data. It, yeah, it's technically an iPod. Austin can only get messages when he's on Wi-Fi, while his sister Mary Page has full phone privileges. It's a balance their mom Carrie adjusts as the two get older. She hit milestones when she was about 10 or so she was able to get Pinterest and then uh, 13 she was able to get Facebook and Snapchat. So how young is too young to have a cell phone? It's a question a lot of parents struggle with. Child advocate Kelly Durkin says there's really no right answer. All the responsibilities that come with the phone, can they handle that? Uh, and the parent is the best person to know that. But regardless of age, Durkin says parents need to be in control of their child's phone. You need to let them know, I as the caregiver, uh, have the right and I will periodically uh, take your phone and if there's something on there that shouldn't be I have the right to take that phone from you. And that means teaching kids about safety. Durkin says parents need to talk to their kids about predators and the dangers of sexting, taking and sending nude or partially nude photos. It's something Mary Page says she sees at her high school all the time. Like one person has it and then one person will see it and it just like goes so fast throughout the school. Which is why her mom Carrie is glad they talked about things like sexting early on. There's a lot of conversations about how that's going to be out there forever. Everything you do and say is out there forever. A lesson Carrie hopes her kids carry with them long after she's done checking their phones. In Topeka, James Ryan, KSNT News. So what happens if a child is charged in a sexting case? Well, KSNT found out back in 2015 it was a level 5 felony. That means kids caught sexting would face consequences similar to those of people who committed involuntary manslaughter, a drive-by shooting, or even incest. They would also be a registered sex offender for life. But now, a first offense is considered a misdemeanor. And we wanted to know what age you think is appropriate for your kids to have a cell phone. On Facebook, most people who weighed in says parents should wait until kids are between 14 and 16 years old. 33% say between 10 and 13 is the right age, while 12% say kids should wait until at least 17 years old to have a phone. Only 5% say kids under 10 should have phones. And on Twitter, 59% of people say 14 to 16 years is an appropriate age. 33% say 10 to 13 is acceptable, with 7% saying parents should wait until kids are at least 17. Only 1% of voters suggest giving phones to kids younger than 10.